don't have to wait until you're 34 to get it together. You can do it at 15, 16. Um, but I would be um, motivating you guys, helping you guys find your gifts and your purpose, to tell you guys to take your talents and turn it into a business. I didn't know what I was doing when I started this photography business. I learned on YouTube. Like, that's not amazing. You could go on YouTube and proclaim yourself as a photographer and get good enough to name your price at that tender age of 15 and 16. You don't have to wait. And if you're really good at something and you have that personality to sell it, people are buy it. I have people that work, uh, my clients, they tell me how good of a job I've done and they haven't even seen the product. It's not the product, it's just like being around me. So. Anybody? Questions? There we go. What's up? Uh, what are the pros and cons of your job? The pros of my job is I work for myself. And the con of my job is I work for everybody. So I'm a servant. Um, for example, um, I'm going to give you the con part, right? You can't control people. You can only control your, your circumstances and your situations. Um, that's why people tell you to write things down if you ever heard your teacher. Now you're setting the principle of, like I'm setting boundaries. And I didn't do that. And I had an organization. My, I made that bread. Don't get me wrong. I did well. Mm. Did like $3,500 off of them on a Saturday. Me and my wife, man, we ate good, baby. Took it one of the grill plates. They cooking in front of me. Tink, 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 tink. They get the flipping that. We did that. Um, but... I didn't have guidelines. I was just going based off of like it'll go well, mm -hmm. and um, people wanted to pay late. Um, I don't know how y'all parents are. Oh, I forgot. So it's picture day. Mm -hmm. So dealing with that is like kind of con because the nice guy in me want to make sure everybody's happy because I'm a pleaser, but the business side of me it stresses me out because I don't like to backtrack. So like. Uh, for example, uh, Kip, I just finished their product, their pro Kip Academy in Houston. I did their senior pictures. I'm done. Now we have those seniors that's not as proactive as me. Now, is it too late? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, you know what I did since I took your pictures? 50 other things. Like, I don't want to backtrack. So um, that's a calm part of it. Um, of course, not meeting deadlines, whoo, or having like multiple deadlines because, again, like I work for myself, but I work for everybody. Like I work for myself because I'm on my own time, but uh, sometimes I take friends and clients that need stuff now. Like even the other day, it's funny, um, I'm talking about it, I'm gonna have to email it, like, baby, you need to find somebody else. Um, I wanted to prepare for you guys, and then, um, I have uh, kindergarten graduation pictures to finish up. And a buddy of mine reminded me of how dope I was with my graphics. She got me excited, like, yeah, girl, I got you. But her deadline is Monday. She asked me Wednesday, and she sent the stuff that I needed yesterday. Oh, no. Now you're going to want it Monday. My son got a basketball tournament Saturday. Um, he got a basketball game Sunday. And I got to live, right? So uh, sometimes I let my heart tug me um, into things. So that's the con of just being too nice. And if anybody's nice with their art, especially like they're a nice guy, get a manager. Make sure they're really mean. Yeah, because yeah, right? you, then you can be the good guy and, right. and they can be the one saying. Right, and, and exactly that. Like um, my uh, manager, she, uh, <laughs> She got on one of my um, brides, chopped her up. Like, I'm talking about the bride called me like, F her, F her. I don't want to work with her no more. And it was like, well, you either work with her or you don't work with me. But it's like when people take advantage of your kindness, it's like the chick, I took her pictures. Like, I did everything I was supposed to. She ain't paid me yet, but she was asking for stuff. Like, I'm that guy, like, oh, I'll give it to you, just give me your money later. Like, nah, forget that, get a man. Tell them to be mean. And when people like that, with that foolishness come, you sick of Get a man, Kate. She make, she make people feel real small. Like, 
would you work for free? Mm -hmm. Chick got mad. Like, you know, I wouldn't. That part of uh, managing, I'm not a, I'm not a business person. I'm too nice. So probably that part is a con. But the pros of making my own schedule, spending time with my son, my daughter, my daughter to be, and my wife, man, we, I'm real family oriented. So like even now, like I'm looking at my phone. Okay, good. <laughs> Uh, but that part, that's definitely a pro. Oh, and um, providing jobs and opportunity. Like when I shoot and I take pictures, like large group and large stuff, usually I'm able to employ somebody and teach them. Like even when I'm telling you guys, get that money now, um, you can get it now. Um, a lot of my photographers usually go on to, to do pretty well, and then they come back and they work for me, which is always good. But, Provide an opportunity and teach the people how to go get that bag. Anybody else? It's a lot of knowledge over here. Y'all can get it for free. Because when I start writing books, it's going to cost like 15 bucks. Yes, ma'am. Did you know you were going to be a photographer at our age? I did not. At your age, I thought I was going to um, be an NBA. Uh, at, what do y'all got, the freshmen? Sophomores. At this age, I was working, and I was focused on getting a college scholarship to play basketball and my dream in the NBA. Uh, I never imagined doing photography, not at this level, anyway. Not, not, it never crossed my mind. I lost my, um, I stopped nourishing my gifts in the arts around that age, and I chose basketball. I wouldn't worry about any kind of art form. So no, I wouldn't have never imagined doing it. I wish I would have, because I would have took classes, man. I don't think we had that access in high school like that, but I'm sure we had something to where I could have went and developed my skills. I would have did that a long time ago. So if there's any photographers in here, and you guys get those classes, or have access to classes with information young, Learning, okay? You don't want to be 34 learning something new. It sucks, man. I got to go back to school, man. I'm excited. The Art Institute, because I get to be around like-minded artist people and around like opportunity and stuff like that. But I got to learn. Man, I got to be a dad. Man, I got to be a husband. And then I got to, you know, I got to be a provider. So uh, learning new things young and applying them young, unstoppable. I'd change places with anybody in this place right now. Uh, for real, start all the way over, man. You guys got youth on your side, man, and that's an amazing thing to have. Please don't take that for granted like I did. I thought I was going to live forever. Now in the morning. My back hurt for no reason. <laughs> 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 but no, I didn't have many years. Anybody different? Something different? Hey, yes, sir. What can I do to prepare for a job like yours? Um, <laughs> man, I want to get to the holy man because I go to church all the time. And by chance, I'm not trying to get you guys to believe in anything or change your thought process or your religion or what you follow. But uh, having like a foundation for me uh, when I um, really start walking in Christ and understanding my entitlement for being a child of God. Like I'm entitled to things. Like you don't ask for stuff. Like, you don't ask for stuff. 